Hey guys, hope you're all well. I thought I'd do a, a little catch up on this before I throw it outside for the day to get on with other jobs. But yeah, um, so far so good. I absolutely love it. And yeah, I'm getting on really well with it. It's actually quite comfortable really for what it is. I know we've all got uh, these things that you need certain bites for particular jobs but you know I don't sort of go down that road I tend to just get some I like and if I get on with it I try and hold on for it for a while I know that, that all these people think as you're going traveling you need a, a BMW GS 1200 or whatever they are to go and do your adventures on but no I don't think that's necessarily true you know people go around the world on all sorts of different things right down to mopeds some people but yeah i think you should just get what suits you with something you get on with it doesn't necessarily have to be a certain style of bike to do a certain job it's just what you're happy with i think so i get on really well with this i thoroughly enjoy riding it i've clocked up a few miles now and yeah i've got no issues with it really none at all it's obviously quick enough <laughs> and it does what I want it to do uh, I've done about probably 500 miles on it over the last week or two and it's been most enjoyable I'll add a bit of that on the end of this so you can just see you know I've been around Wales I've been around the local area I've been up around Darley Dales, Peak District and places like that and thoroughly enjoyed it. Because normally around this time of year, I'm planning on going into Europe. But obviously, that's not going to happen. And I'm quite gutted about it, really. Because normally I try and go every year. And obviously with the virus going on, it's not looking good. So... I'm trying to fill my boots with little trips around the UK, to be honest, and I am going to start filming them. I'll go with no plan whatsoever. I'll just go out this back gate and go, and just whatever direction I take is where I go. I tend not to go round sort of the, the, the bike routes, as you call them, where there's 500 other guys tearing up the roads. I don't... I don't see the enjoyment in that. And then you've got sort of police on every bend and corner watching out for you because five guys got killed last year on that road. I, I just don't see the enjoyment in that at all. I really don't. I like to go completely off the beaten track and get out into the middle of nowhere on some of the little lanes that take you over little mountain passes and stuff like that. Not the great big winding fast roads that, you know, where the police are sitting waiting to catch you. I, I don't get it. Sorry, but I, I just don't get I get it when everyone's stopping and, you know, you're walking around looking at all the bikes and things like that, like Matlock Bath. I do enjoy going there and looking at the bikes but then move on and go to places where not many people go. That's the sort of riding I like, not masses of people all blasting down the roads. I don't, I don't enjoy that. So I like to get away where, yeah, not many people go, but sometimes just see a road turn down it and see what happens. I found some amazing things doing that and some beautiful places. Hopefully Europe will happen next year. I've got everything crossed. It really doesn't look good for this year. So what I do, I save Euros all through the year. And uh, if I do little jobs for people, you know, 10 and 20 quid here and there, I'll go up to the village post office and swap it straight to Euros. One, it's saving. Two, I can't spend it when it's in Euros and it soon mounts up over a whole year so that's the way i've saved to go away and it's it saves trying to find that big bundle of money when the time comes when you want to go it, it's there sat in the drawer ready sort of thing and you don't really notice it going when it's 10 and 20 here and there but yeah all i'll do is continue saving and hopefully next year 
I'll go for a lot longer and go to many more places. Maybe I'll go for three or four weeks, who knows, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But if I can get somewhere this year, you know, even into Belgium or somewhere like that, I will do it. But it's not looking good for that. But anyway, yeah, the, the, the bike is amazing. It really is. I've done a few jobs to it. I've recently put tires on. I've done a service, oil filter, air filter. I've done the front brakes. I've done that little thing on the cam cap because they're renowned for that being a bit rattly. They are a bit of a rattly engine anyway, but that um, stopped that horrible rattle when it started up, which they're known for. A lot of people go for the manual adjustable cam chain tensioner, but I thought, after a bit of research i found this sort of update on the cap so i've done that and it's sorted it all out it's absolutely spot on now so yeah so what obviously me doing the jobs on it i haven't got that bmw service stamp but what i do do is uh, make note of everything i've done the dates what i've done to it the mileage of the bike when i've done that job to it and staple the receipts to my little notes and then put that in the book. It, it, it is service history, obviously. It's probably not, well, it's not as good as that BMW stamp, I guess, but at least it, I'm, I'm taking note of all the history and all the jobs I do on it. And, you know, it may look a bit better if, if and when I come to sell it, but uh, I'm hoping to keep this one for a while. I really, really enjoy riding it and hope to get a lot more miles done through the summer. But yeah, I've I've still not messed with the gadgets on it. I think I said before, I've set everything to maximum. I've left it all there. I'm not, I don't know, I personally don't see the point in rain mode and things like that. I've, in my whole years of riding, I've never ridden a bike and thought, this could do with rain mode. <laughs> I don't know. Each to their own. But you can sort of control that yourself. <laughs> like I've done forever. <laughs> but to put it in different modes to suit different conditions. Yeah, yeah I suppose it's the modern generation, isn't it? The sort of the... The video game generation where they like all the gadgets and buttons but yeah i've just set it all to max i can take over from there I'll, it's fine <laughs> but apart from that the, the what i call the pointless gadgets on it i absolutely love it anyway i'll uh i, I, I did take the camera with me on some of the trips so i'll share some of that and hopefully i'm going to get out a lot more to some more interesting places so is some of the little trips I've done. Cheers for watching guys, take care.
Matlock was a bit packed, so I grabbed some fish and chips and come up here. Found this little spot. It's not the quietest. It's a cool little spot actually. There's an old mill behind me. I'll show you in a minute. And the river. So I'm gonna have me dinner. A ro romantic meal for one. And I'm gonna move on up to the hills. Someone's looking at me going out, so I'm talking to myself. Yes, I'm balmy. <laughs> oh well. Looks like this was an old textile mill. Built in 1793 by the looks of it. I think I got that right. But it's all closed down. It looks like it was one of these shopping villages, but with the COVID, it's all gone. Which is a shame, really. Although it would be better kept as a mill. But there you go. The building's still here, and it's I love old factory buildings, they're awesome. See if they converted it, all them rooms, so you had a, a room at the top and a little factory unit at the bottom. So a room with your bed and your kitchen and your little workshop at the bottom. They'd rent them all out within a week. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, it's a shame to see it all closed down. But there you go. That's what COVID's done to a lot of places. Anyway. I'm going to, I've had me dinner, so I'm going to move on, see where we end up next.
Oh, just just stopped off for for a quick snack in this beautiful place. <clears throat> I don't know how good you're going to see it, but it's quite nice actually. We can go across the road without getting mowed down. Although there's not not that many cars. As he said, here's another car. You can't go anywhere in England and have a bit of peace. I'm having a good day so far. I've, I don't know. I don't know how many miles I've done. I've no idea. I've just kept riding. <clears throat> but back to reality tomorrow. Back in the shed. And it's going to rain. So I'm enjoying it while I can. So I've got my pudding lot. <clears throat> got some Tic Tacs, some Skittles, a Snicker, and I don't know what that is. Oh. It's some sort of energy drink. It was bright, so I got it. <laughs> There's my dinner. All right, I'm on holiday. Well, day out. <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> Diabetes, here we come. Anyway, it's been a beautiful day. I still quite a few miles from home, so I've still got a bit of riding to do. My camera battery's nearly flat, and I've come out of our batteries like an idiot. Because I am useless at this YouTube thing. <laughs> if I go out, I'll forget everything. I tried charging it on the USB on the bike, but that's decided to stop working. So I ain't having much luck with batteries. Anyway, I'm gonna have a bit of a drink and then press on with my journey. Mm -hmm. 